Hey, what's up? All right, on this episode, we're gonna talk about the money. I love transparency, and I love when someone just lays it all out there. So to that end, I'm gonna show you all of the real numbers of the island. The actual prices, the real deal, the whole kit and caboodle, we're gonna show it all. Most of it's public record anyway. One seven for the last floor. So we got three floors at 60.17, so it's a three-story house. You know, something I learned about money over the years is you can use it to buy stuff. It's actually pretty handy to have around. Poverty is a great motivator. Both Richard and I grew up in pretty humble circumstances here in Louisiana, and while we've worked really hard and have done well for ourselves thus far, you don't ever quite shake that understanding of what it's like to not have much. It makes the money that you earn that much more precious, and as a general rule, you tend to be a lot more careful with it. Now, unfortunately, the island is an exception to that rule. Back in episode one, we explained how we found the place. I went with Richard to look at this house on Lake Darbone. So they said it was on an island, so we were headed up to the river and uh, decided to just tag along with Richard, and we went through this house looking at it with a couple who wanted to buy it and kind of remodel it. And after walking through, it was apparent that it was gonna take more work than that couple was interested in, in tackling. But I saw an absolute gem just waiting to be polished. When we found the island, they were asking 450,000 for it. It got some interest at that price. I mean, the views and the property were spectacular, but the house itself is not traditional. It's a big metal building built by a family with nine children. And while it worked great for them, the layout was a real issue for most people. And to fix it was gonna be very expensive, so it sat on the market for a while. So Richard and I decided we want this thing. So we start negotiations with the realtors. And of course there was a lot of back and forth, but when it was all said and done, the final sales price was $290,000. We closed on it exactly one week before it went to sheriff sale. You know, another thing I learned about money over the years is that money good, not money, bad, very bad. I didn't have $290,000 just sitting around and neither did Richard. You're looking at remodeling 6,000 square foot top to bottom. Oh, then we're adding another 4,000 feet worth of decks. Oh, and then a pier and a boathouse. We need money, bro. And then we're gonna need money to pay the money back. <laughs> so we went to see our buddy Neil, who's a banker, to borrow a little cash. So we met with the bank, got a loan, closed on the house, and boom, the house is ours. Easy part's over. The next big question was, what are we gonna do to fix this place up, and where are we getting the money? So we went back and saw Neil, and he was kind enough to explain a concept called equity. Equity is when you owe less money than what the house is worth. The difference is the equity you have built up in the house. So here's an example. We owed 290,000 on the island. If it appraised for 500,000, then we'd have 210,000 in equity and we can borrow 80% of that 210,000 to make our improvements. Or we could just take that money and spend a few months in Europe, but that's probably not a very good idea. So it's essentially, it's we get free money if we get a good appraisal, correct? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's not how that works. <laughs> it's not, not, there is no such thing as free money here. <laughs> so we ordered the appraisal, and the appraisal was based off of our intended changes. We walked through room by room describing the changes we had planned, the materials we were gonna use. 5363. Does it matter if we tell you everything we're doing outside? Probably not. Huh? Yes, sir, I want, I want you to tell me everything you're gonna do in a minute. Uh oh the, the floor works in here, what are they gonna do? PVC laminate. We really hoped this appraisal would come in high enough so that we could borrow enough money to really change this place and make it great. Because like I said before, a very wise man once told me, Hampton, I've never regretted spending a little bit of extra money to get exactly what I wanted. I've only regretted not spending enough and being stuck with something I wasn't satisfied with. So the final appraisal came in at 720,000. That meant that we had about $350,000 to fix up the island. And it was right about that time that it really started to sink in what a monster project we had bitten off. At least for me, I think Richard knew the whole time, which kind of explains why he was so depressed looking back then. Do you regret this yet? I get nervous every time I walk in here. <laughs> Scared to death. 
On the next episode, we'll go floor by floor, room by room, and show you exactly what our plan for this island is. Of course, I can only show you that now because we're mostly finished with the place, and so we know now what our plan was then. Truth be told, we had no written plans for this place. All we really had was faith in our ability to pull this thing off and a very unhealthy lack of fear about the whole thing. But it's really nice when someone's willing to take that kind of a leap with you. If you want to follow along on the progress in real time, you can check out my Instagram feed, which I'll link below. Thanks for watching, and we're about to really get into the demolition. Is it appraisal more of the inside of the house or the, it's or the a, whole it's, it's everything. shebang? It's everything you're going to do to it. Everything you do into it makes it newer. Right. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Have you looked at any comps yet? No, sir. What kind of cabinet you put? You put granite? Oh, yeah. With gold flakes in it. <laughs> Tell him how we're putting like 800,000 square feet of decks in. <laughs> Did he like that number? Oh, hey. So if you're still here, you're one of the rare 10% of the people that stick around after the credits roll. So a quick programming note for you guys. The guys are coming down from California and New York this week and we'll start shooting Louisiana River Builds episode two. So stay tuned, I'll give you a few sneak peeks of that. Thanks for sticking around for the long haul. I'll see y'all next time.